Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle, and welcome into episode 4 of Stealth and Sneak. First I want to test some movement speed with you guys, and for that we'll be using this short corridor, because I don't want it to take forever, and I will do only couple necessary tests. Hopefully those robots will not interrupt too much. I will try to put the uh, timer on the screen for all of you to see how much exactly take me to get from one side to the other side of this corridor. Okay, let's try from this side to over there with a handmade equipped first. Okay, let's go. Done. And now let's swap a weapon for fixer. That provides us with some movement speed and let's go other way around. I think if you can see the same what I can see, there is absolutely no difference that I can notice. And okay, now I'm gonna take Radex. Swap the weapon, handmade again. And let's go. Let's keep moving. Done. And now the fixer again. And let's go other way. It seems that there is a difference and fixer is actually helping now. But it was absolutely no difference before when speed demon was active. Now I just took the serum and all the mutations I suppressed including the speed demon then yeah what i can tell you guys about all the stuff that boosting your movement speed it's useless basically speed demon itself put you on the maximum possible speed then and even if you are not using speed demon then equipping fixer just it equipping fixer put you again on the speed cap what makes everything else obsolete and useless than putting any slick modes on your legs. It's just a waste of a mode and going for the shrouded wood is a waste because it will not boost any more than the 20% you already have. I think this explained the issue with the movement speed we have in Fallout. Basically one mutation putting you on the, sp on the maximum possible speed on the cap and everything else is just a waste. And here we are, back into the barrels and our trusty machine gun turret Mark 7. Now, what I want to show you guys, I have with me some weightless armor. We want to take a look on the weightless armor. Let me equip it. Uh, there is no ladder here and no shadow mod to eliminate any inconsistencies. Then let's equip some pieces that I have with me. Raider, robot and I'm invisible, as expected with a weightless armor. Now, into the problems, as of course I found some problems when doing the testing and I do have some reports from you guys that not all weightless is working and I figure out the same. Look now, wood chest piece, weightless. Let's keep in mind, it is weightless, as it should be. Weight is correct, no mods installed, I put it on, I'm visible again. Doesn't work with chameleon mutation. Okay, another piece. Marine armor. It is weightless, weights almost nothing, even we've become harder to detect while sneaking. I put it on, I'm visible. It's bugged. Another bugged armor. Marine and wood is bugged with chameleon mutation, it just doesn't work. All other armors so far that I do have and I was testing are working, but marine and wood is not. Okay, let's equip again what's working. Uh, with every set that I have on me today, at least one piece has become harder to detect by sneaking. Just a disclaimer. Now let's see how well I can do with a fixer equipped 
and chameleon mutation, full set of weightless, how close I can get to this turret. Okay, back cloaked. As you can see, it's similar a situation to chameleon. You do have your extra sneak only when you are cloaked. When you're not cloaked, there is no benefit. Okay, I'm slightly too close. Okay, it's looked that it is as close as I can get. Now we'll wait for the bracket to get back up into the hidden position. I am really close to this turret and my bracket is slightly smaller than a fully hidden. Now I want to, why I did it, I want to compare it to chameleon armor. What is better, weightless or chameleon? Let me try to really quickly swap it. I need to be really fast, otherwise this turret will just kill me. Okay, or chameleon. Okay, I did it on time. Now let's see if I will be hidden to the same level or not. Unfortunately, I mean, it's a bad news for weightless armor users. Stealth Reel from Chameleon seems to be slightly stronger than a Stealth Reel from weightless armor and Chameleon Mutation. And chameleon armor win in here let me put back my weightless again and now i'm back in weightless armor and i don't know if it was always like that but look what's going on if i start firing i'm getting visible and turret is getting lock on me i don't know it was always like that but it's a big downside for weightless armor and chameleon mutation. It's a big no-no, especially because chameleon armor, you can be firing and your cloak is still up. When you are using chameleon mutation and weightless armor, you fire, you lose your cloak. Uh, what else I have on me? Uh, it's Garp of Mysteries and Eye of Ra. I just figure why not uh, test it as well in this episode it's look that it's nothing great compared to other options it's even slightly weaker than weightless armor with harder to detect while sneaking back to chameleon and now look I can be firing and I'm still under the cloak of chameleon I can dump the full magazine and this turret is doing nothing and I'm going back into the hidden. Okay, now I'm basically with a kissing distance to this turret and she still can... and this turret still cannot detect me because I'm wearing full chameleon armor and I want to show you as how the stealth boy work. Then for this purpose I will probably take off one piece of the chameleon, just not the one of harder to detect. Okay, one of the harder to detect when sneaking can be. Oh, I'm too close. Okay, and I'm now I'm still hidden, but not fully hidden, and I'm wearing four pieces of chameleon because with five pieces I was able to kiss this turret and the hidden bracket was fully open. And my point of doing that is to show you how the stealth boy work. Now I'm using the stealth boy. Pay attention to the bracket. And it's full open and it's then it's clearly stuck with chameleon effect from armor it's not only the visual effect when we are using stealth boy but it's come with a quite a huge bonus to your sneak ability and it's come on top of everything else plus you will be cloaked all the time even when moving what's meant if you are stationary under a stealth boy with a chameleon armor you are super crazy hidden and almost impossible to detect. Okay, now let's go back to unyielding armor. And now we are going into the topic of weapon noise. How close I need to be. Okay, about this close, the bracket is slightly changed. And now if I will fire the weapon, you will see not much is happening. Hmm. 
weapon with a suppressor, nothing is really happening. Uh, plus it's a fixer now, I'm swapping into the pipe rifle. Pipe rifle without a suppressor, if I fire it, you can see that hidden bracket is getting smaller. I'm not getting detected though, because I'm very sneaky anyway, but if you do the comparison to suppress pipe rifle, you can see that hidden bracket is not moving. Weapon noise does make a difference. And apart from that, there are much more noisy weapons than uh, rifles like uh, heavy guns and stuff like that. I don't have any on me, but you can do this test for yourself. I was trying with a Gatling gun and I was like almost instantly detected after I started firing it. Plus you need to remember about one other thing. If you actually hit an enemy, regardless if your weapon is suppressed or not, you will trigger a active search in any NPC. If I will hit this turret now, you see? I'm instantly in caution. I can be using suppressed weapon. I'm in caution and I will, if I keep firing, this turret is just blindly firing towards the direction I was in. Then you can be super stealthy and you can still get fire upon from enemies. Doesn't matter how stealthy you are, if you hit an enemy, it will respond with a fire. Try non-suppressed weapon. You see? Non-suppressed weapon. The re response is much faster. Because after one shot, it was already fired upon. Move. There it is firing. But if you notice, if you st really stealthy, a little bit more noisy weapon will not get you detected. You are still in caution. With this only difference, let's look what this turret is doing. See, I died. I was in caution. I died. Because the panic fire, the blind fire to the direction of the enemy is still the thing, especially if those rounds are explosive. On the way here, I found another weapon. We can give it a shot. Grenade launcher. You see? It's a much more noisy weapon. The bracket is moving much more significantly when I'm firing. Still not getting detected, but the difference is much bigger. From full bracket to like very little one when I'm firing this grenade launcher. Back to my pipe rifle and just one last test with chameleon for a change show you that I will be detected anyway, even though Chameleon offers the highest possible invisibility, and I don't know how to call it, highest sneakiness, but the, be the best camouflage possible when you are stationary, even when you are firing. But if I fire, it's still putting me into the caution, and this turret will eventually start firing at me. You see? can be moving around, I can be wearing chameleon, can be whatever, but this turret will still get a lock on me. I mean, not on me, not on my location. And now, one bonus round. Pay attention to the hidden bracket. My agility is 34, it's really high, and the question some people were asking me, is agility capped, or are you still getting bonuses from going above 30 or something like that. Let's pay attention, let's do this uh, bracket, let's try to place it maybe on the pipe, on my quick wheel, the agility is on number 5, let's try to boost my agility a little bit. Let's use Scorch Beast Steak. Yeah, actually my agility dropped because my health went up and I drop agility by two, but anyway, test is valid because you see that the bracket becomes smaller. Okay, I have an idea, I think. Yeah, I will kick rejuvenated, it should help. You see, guys? Now went bigger than it was before. Then it is a proof, even if your agility is super high, like in my case, Going from 34 to 37 still help and it's visible. 
it's nothing like super crazy but i think like about three points of agility is i will say equivalent of one shadowed piece of armor that's only work on leather keep it in mind or harder to detect while sneaking it's about equivalent to three maybe four agility and that is about everything i have for this episode and i think it is the last episode of stealth and sneak like a little bit later i do plan to do one another video that is just intended to summarize everything we know about stealth and sneak do it like one video with all the knowledge without the testing to save on time because all the testing i already did and at this moment thank you guys a lot as always thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.